Hi guys, it's your girl Chris. Today I'll be showing you how to make an effective and cost efficient stain remover that's easy on the environment using only Dawn dish detergent, baking soda, and hydrogen peroxide. I'll be making two formulations, one at regular strength and another at a higher concentration. Let's get this party started guys! So here we're going to start off by making the regular strength version. I'm using a funnel to fill up this container 20% of the way with baking soda. Baking soda is highly antibacterial and helps control odors on our laundry as well as keeping our whites white and brights bright. Next, I'm going to fill the container 60% of the way with hydrogen peroxide and top it all off with the regular original formulation of Dawn dish detergent. I shake it all up and I'm done. Effective and cheap. Next, here's how you make the super strength version. I fill a little container up 50% of the way with baking soda. Again, baking soda is awesome for keeping your laundry colors great. I then fill it up with Dawn dish detergent, the blue one only please, and hydrogen peroxide. I'm then going to take this q-tip and mix it all together. Notice that it is slightly thicker than the original regular strength version of the stain remover. And that's it. Now onto the application process. I'm going to be using colognes that are in various colors, shades, and fabrics just to show you how effective and powerful the stain remover is. Here are my gym socks. This is a pretty nice cardigan that I got. It's bright yellow. Here I have a light colored sweater and a dark colored t-shirt. I also have this white shirt. Now, to apply the stain remover, all you have to do is pour it onto your clothing and rub it in. Then you just leave it to sit for about an hour for the powers of the baking soda, the hydrogen peroxide, as well as the Dawn dish detergent to work. On this particular t-shirt, I am using the extra strength version because the sweat stains on here were really, really bad, as you can see. After letting the stain remover work for about an hour, I then go ahead and rinse everything out. Saturday, I watched you fly away. Take a look at this yellow card again. The stains are practically already gone, even though we're not fully laundered yet. Pretty cool, huh? It's me alone. I'm still going to add a little bit more stain remover because that stain isn't completely gone. But I'm not going to let it soak. I'm just going to throw it into the washing machine as soon as I'm done. And here's the cuff. Not as bad as it was before, right? This remover is amazing and works miracles on miracles. Here's the collar. Bright white and I haven't even washed it yet. Take a look at these gym socks. Wow, they're so bright, so clean. I checked the dial tone on the telephone. And here's the other one. On this particular gym sock, I had a ton of grass stains right at the top, but they're all gone now. The reception. The sky was bright and clear. 
After rinsing everything out, I put them all in the washing machine and wash them as I usually would. And that's all there is to it, guys. Effective, powerful, and cost efficient. Now let's see the results. Hey guys, it's your girl Chris. Okay, so I hope you guys really enjoyed the tutorial and the approach that I took with the DIY stain remover. I really feel that it's really something that everybody should have in their homes for all types of use. Like I removed out here sweat stains, I removed grass stains, I removed dirt, I removed dirt, I removed smell and odor. So I really feel that it's a really, really powerful and yet less toxic household cleaner for you guys to use, especially if you have a lot of stains happening around the house. Like for me, I remember the socks, they had a grass stain on it that had a lot of dirt on it from my shoes. Um, the light blue t-shirt had really bad sweat stains and I think I've not worn that t-shirt since last summer, so those sweat stains have really been there for a long time and it wasn't until making this tutorial that I actually brought that t-shirt out and I'm like, okay, yeah, it's clean, it's washed, but these sweat stains got to go. Okay, so first up, I'm going to start off with the light blue t-shirt and I'm going to show you um, the underarms because this t-shirt had really bad sweat stains, so I'm going to show you the underarms. This is it from afar. See? No sweat stains. Uh, prior to um, being cleaned with the stain remover, I had really bad sweat stains, and this is it here. And like I said, guys, like you guys saw me do everything. I didn't put anything else on the item, the clothing. This is the other underarm. No more sweat stains. I think I missed those things a little bit. I might clean that later, but the majority of the sweat stains are gone. And it's not good. <laughs> so really good. Okay, so next I'm gonna use I'm gonna show you this um, t-shirt. But I'm gonna show you the underarms. On this t-shirt, I really didn't use it for stain removal. It was more for um, odor removal. But this is the shirt over here. Notice this is a dark blue shirt, and the other shirt I had was a light blue shirt. But there's no bleaching on it, no um, loss of color or anything like that, which is really awesome. This is where I applied it. Yeah. And next, like I said, the yellow cardigan. This is it. And I'm going to show you the underarms. Really, really soft. Almost like a, it's a blend obviously, but it's really, really soft. And I thought it would pick in the wash, but it didn't. But here is the underarms because I got some blue stuff on it from sweating. I have a really bad sweating problem. I need to stop being nervous. And this is it. And this is the other arm over here. Bright yellow. So we had like a, a really bright color, a darker color, and a medium shade. And these all three use the exact same three products. Hydro peroxide, baking soda, Dawn dish soap. It has to be Dawn, guys. I can't stress enough. It has to be Dawn. If it's not Dawn, it won't work. Next, the socks. These are the socks. Bright, bright, bright and clean. This is the socks. And I think... On this sock, one of these socks, this is the underneath, so this is what, really bright, white, and one of them had a grass stain up here somewhere. This is the other sock. Try to get as close as possible so you can actually see it. There we go. I think I might get some more over here because it's kind of gray over there. This is the mint t-shirt. Again, this one, there wasn't any stains on it, but I used it more for odor control. Odor control, I should say. And then this is a shirt, and you know that the collar on this was really bad. And yeah, I think we can get a good, good over here. Yeah. And then the cuffs. For this shirt, I actually left the, um, the stain remover on for too long, so when I came to clean the cuffs and like I just poured water on it and it came right off so here it is. and I think I had I had left this at the bottom of my laundry basket for three weeks I think I wore it to church three weeks ago this one cuff and this is the other cuff the other cuff 
And that was it guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this demonstration of a very non-toxic stain remover that you can use for your house and home. I really do encourage you guys to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I encourage you guys to also share this tip and technique with others so we can live a more toxic free life and also save money because that makes sense. Anyway, thank you so much for your time and for sitting through this entire video. I really hope that you learned something from it and I really do appreciate you guys taking the time out of your busy days to come and watch this video. And as always guys, remember to live your life and be yourself mentally. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.